Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions and detailed answers. Related to SAP Materials Management MM in the context of an implementation project. 1. What is the primary goal of an SAP MM implementation project? Answer. The primary goal is to successfully configure and deploy SAP MM to meet the organization's procurement, inventory, and logistics requirements, aligning the system with business processes. 2. Explain the key phases of an SAP MM implementation project. Answer. Phases include project preparation, business blueprint, realization, final preparation, and go live and in support. A. Project preparation, define project scope, objectives, and team. B. Business blueprint, document business processes and system requirements. C. Realization, configure SAP MM based on the blueprint. D. Final preparation, conduct system testing and end user training. E. Go live and in support, transition to the live system and provide post go live support. 3. How do you approach gathering business requirements in the business blueprint phase? Answer. Collaborate with key stakeholders to understand current processes, pain points, and future requirements. Document these findings in the business blueprint to serve as the basis for system configuration. 4. Explain the significance of master data in SAP MM implementation. Answer. Raster data for example, material master, vendor master is crucial for SAP MM functionality. During implementation, ensure accurate and complete master data setup to avoid issues in procurement and inventory management. 5. How do you determine the organizational structure in SAP MM implementation? Answer. Work closely with business leaders to define the organizational structure, including company codes, plants, storage locations, and purchasing organizations, aligning them with the business hierarchy. 6. What is the role of SAP MM in integration with other SAP modules during implementation? Answer. SAP MM integrates with modules like SAP SD, SAP PP, and SAP WM. During implementation, ensure seamless data flow and collaboration between modules to support end-to-end -end business processes. 7. Explain the process of configuring the SAP MM organizational structure. Answer. Configure the organizational structure using transaction codes. Like AUX-02 for company codes, AUX-10 for plants, and AUX-09 for purchasing organizations. Ensure consistency with the business hierarchy. 8. How do you approach SAP MM vendor master data setup in an implementation project? Answer. Set up vendor master data using transaction code XK01 or XK02. Capture essential details like vendor name, address, payment terms, and communication data to facilitate procurement processes. 9. What are the key considerations for SAP MM material master data setup? Answer. Consider factors like material type, industry sector, material group, and valuation class during material master setup using transaction code MO1 or MO2. Ensure data accuracy and consistency. 10. Explain the role of purchase requisitions PR and purchase orders PO in SAP MM implementation. Answer. PRs are created to initiate procurement, while POs are formal agreements to procure goods or services. In an implementation project, configure these documents to align with the organization's procurement processes. 11. How do you configure SAP MM pricing procedures in an implementation project? Answer. Use transaction code M08 to configure pricing procedures. Define conditions, access sequences, and calculation schema to ensure accurate pricing in purchase orders. 12. Explain the concept of SAP MM release strategies for purchase orders. Answer. Release strategies define the approval process for purchase orders. In an implementation project, configure release strategies using transaction code ME29N based on business rules and hierarchies. 
13. How do you set up SAP MM inventory management during implementation? Answer. Configure inventory management using transaction codes. Like OMJ1 for account determination, OMIS2 for tolerance groups, and OMX1 for number ranges. Ensure accurate stock tracking and valuation. 14. What is the role of SAP MM in invoice verification during implementation? Answer. Configure invoice verification using transaction codes like OMR6 for tolerance groups, OMCG for default values, and OMXV for number ranges. Align settings with the organization's invoice processing requirements. 15. Explain the significance of SAP MM batch management in an implementation project. Answer. Batch management tracks and manages materials based on production or procurement batches. During implementation, configure batch management using transaction code OMUCT to support traceability and quality control. 16. How do you handle SAP MM integration with external systems in an implementation project? Answer. Aggression involves defining interfaces using tools like SAP Process Integration PI or SAP Cloud Platform Integration. Collaborate with technical teams to ensure seamless data exchange. 17. Explain the concept of SAP MM Outline Agreements Contracts and Scheduling Agreements in an Implementation Project. Answer. Outline agreements are long-term commitments with vendors. Configure contracts using transaction code ME31K and scheduling agreements using ME38 during the implementation to support procurement planning. 18. How do you handle SAP MM consignment processes in an implementation project? Answer. Configure consignment processes using transaction codes like ME47 for consignment info records and ME21K for consignment purchase orders. Ensure accurate tracking of consigned materials. 19. What is the role of SAP MM subcontracting in an implementation project, and how do you configure it? Answer. Subcontracting involves sending materials to a vendor for processing. Configure subcontracting using transaction codes like ME01 for info records and ME20 for subcontracting purchase orders. 20. Explain the SAP MM vendor evaluation process and its configuration during implementation. Answer. Vendor evaluation assesses vendor performance. Configure it using transaction code ME61 for maintaining vendor evaluations and ME63 for updating scores during an implementation project. 21. How do you configure SAP MM account determination in an implementation project? Answer. Account determination links transactions to general ledger accounts. Configure it using transaction codes like UMWeb for automatic account determination and UMWeb for manual account determination. 22. Explain the process of SAP MM physical inventory configuration during implementation. Answer. Configure physical inventory using transaction codes like OMGC for cycle counting and OMD for physical inventory documents. Set up counting cycles and tolerance groups for accurate stock verification. 23. How do you handle SAP MM valuation and account assignment in an implementation project? Answer. Configure valuation classes using transaction code OMSC and account assignment categories using OMBA. Align settings with the organization's accounting principles during the implementation. 24. Explain the significance of SAP MM integration with SAP Warehouse Management WM during implementation. Answer. Integration with SAP WM ensures seamless coordination between procurement and warehouse processes. Configure integration settings using transaction code OMIS3 to enable data exchange. 25. How do you approach SAP MM training for end users during implementation? Answer. Develop training materials based on configured processes. Conduct hands-on training sessions and provide documentation to ensure end users are proficient in using SAP MM functionalities. 26. What are the key considerations for SAP MM security and role design during implementation? 
Answer. Design roles and authorizations using transaction codes, like FIFC, to ensure data security. Assign roles based on job responsibilities, and implement the principle of least privilege. 27. How do you handle SAP MM testing unit testing, migration testing, user acceptance testing in an implementation project? Answer. Unit testing involves validating individual components. Integration testing ensures seamless collaboration with other modules. And user acceptance testing involves end users validating the system. Rigorous testing is critical for a successful implementation. 28. Explain the role of data migration in SAP MM implementation and how you ensure data accuracy. Answer. Data migration involves transferring data from legacy systems to SAP M. Use tools like LUSM for data uploads and conduct thorough validation to ensure accuracy and completeness. 29. How do you manage SAP MM change requests during the implementation project? Answer. Change requests are managed through a structured process involving documentation, impact analysis, testing, and approval. Changes are implemented following change management procedures. 30. Explain the post-go-live support process in an SAP MM implementation project. Answer. Post-go-live support involves addressing issues, providing additional training if needed, and monitoring system performance. It ensures a smooth transition to the live environment and ongoing user support. These questions and answers provide insights into the key aspects of SAP MM implementation projects. Covering various areas such as project phases, configuration, master data setup, testing, and post-implementation support. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.